Hello dear friends, Ewell Humphreys here to share with you another word from the Bible, the Word of God. I want to speak to you on the, on the Comforter, the Comforter. Praise the Lord. Jesus said, the, uh, I, I will speak to you of the Holy Spirit who is the Comforter. I will send you another Comforter, the Holy Spirit who will teach you and lead, teach you all things and will bring to mind your and your remembrance of the things that I have taught you. And so he, Jesus is speaking here of the Holy Spirit. We believe that we serve a triune God, a God in three issues, three people, three persons, and yet a one God. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. The Bible teaches that the Comforter will come to us, and He will never leave us. Now, He is the Comforter, and so I would like for us to think a few moments that we have about the fact that He is a Comforter. A Comforter, and that's a good word for Him because He comforts. When you have a problem, go to the Lord, and the Holy Spirit will comfort you. He'll give you comfort. He'll lead you into thoughts that are good for whatever you're facing. And he'll teach you that which brings you out with a, with a smile and a song. Because you've been with Jesus and you know the way home is the way, the best way, and that's God's way and it's your, become your way. And so as you look to him, you find the, the answer. The answer is he is, among other things, he is the comforter. Praise the Lord. He's the fire. Oh, praise the Lord. Baptized with, with the Holy Spirit and with fire. But he's also a comforter. And we need to see that. We need to see and recognize that he comforts us. For instance, he's comforted me many times with thoughts. And some say, well, that's, that's, some, that's awful small, yes. But it's the small things that make up life. And so when he comforts you and, and you can face the small things and bring good out of them, and that is good. For instance, I have a problem with my, both my legs. Uh, that I, have, I have a difficulty in walking because I have fallen and I've broken one of my hips and fractured the other one. And so I must be very careful and not fall anymore, but I'm still able to walk with my walker. And praise God for that. And the thought came to me, well, it's better to have two weak legs than to have none at all. Amen. I still got two weak legs. I can still walk some. And I'll keep on walking. And the comforter is giving me hope that I'll get back to where I can walk like I used to. And so praise God, I keep praying for me. I'm going to get there. And so it is. And then too, another thought came, I still have hope. If I, if I was in a wheelchair and couldn't get out, I wouldn't even have hope to walk again. And, and, but praise God for those people that are in wheelchairs. They still have hope that they're going to live again and accomplish something and be blessed of God. But praise the Lord, I have hope that I'll walk again. But the hand of God is upon us. And the power of the Holy Spirit is ours, and he's a great comforter. He comforts. He comforts and gives us hope and life in Christ Jesus. He reminds us that Jesus Christ is with us, that he loves us, and that he's walking with us, and he'll never leave us. And that's a comfort. And he gives us a hope that the word of God is ours. And it's through the word that we have life, spiritual life in Christ. And we go on because God's going on with us. And we're going through. Hallelujah. Max Licado has said that we, we, we live in a jungle. And not a jungle of a beast, a wild beast, but a jungle of broken hearts and, and lack of money and uh, sometimes a lack of a work or a job and some problems that seem to be heavier than we can hardly bear. And so it, it becomes a jungle. Yet, he says in this jungle that uh, we go through it as Christians, 
and we go through with a smile and a song. We go through the trouble and the trial because we have one that has given us the victory, and that one is Jesus. And so praise the Lord. The jungle has not changed, but we have been changed. Christians have been changed. And we're facing a trouble now with a smile, a song, and a victory because we know we're going through because we're not alone. The Lord God is with us. The Almighty, he said he is there always. And so the Holy Spirit is a comforter to comfort you. If, you, if I've been able to comfort you, it, it's because the Holy Spirit has spoken to you through these feeble words, and he has said to you, look up, keep on going, and never give up. God is with you. He's with you now, and he'll be with you forever. He's bringing you home where there's no more trial or trouble. And so we praise God, and we thank God we're on our way because the Lord is with us, and we will not fail. Thank God for that. And when we sing, we sing because we're happy. And so thank God for the Holy Spirit who will teach us at all things and will bring to our remembrance the things that we have forgotten. And I know we do that sometimes. We forget the blessings that, and the scriptures that have helped us, but he'll bring it back to us and we'll remember those scriptures and they'll be a blessing to us. And we'll realize how good it is to know the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. There's a sweet, sweet spirit in this place. And I know that it's the Spirit of the Lord. There are sweet expressions on each face. And I know that it's the presence of the Lord. Sweet Holy Spirit, sweet Heavenly Dove, stay right here with us, filling us with your love. And for these blessings, we lift our hearts in praise. For no doubt we know that when we leave this place, we shall be revived in thee. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. There are blessings you can never receive until you give to Jesus and believe. It is you that'll profit if you say, I know I'll walk with Jesus all the way. Sweet Holy Spirit, sweet Heavenly Dove, stay right here with us, filling us with your love. And for these blessings, we lift our hearts in praise. Without a doubt, we know we will be revived when we shall leave this place. Amen. God bless you. God loves you, and the Lord's with you, and he's never going to leave you. He's going to be there when you need him, and he's always near. He loves you very much, dear friend, and I love you. I want you to pray a brief prayer with me if you need to, asking God to come in your heart and make you a Christian if you're not. Just say, Dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe he died for me. I believe he paid for all my sins. I believe he rose again. And I believe he's coming back. Come in my heart, Lord Jesus, and help me to live for you. Amen. Praise God. Thank you. And now find your good church and worship God with his people. And that'll be important. Very important. Now then, dear Christian, God bless you. God loves you and I love you. Amen.